Hi everyone, it's Kine, and in today's Halloween makeup tutorial, we are going to make America gay again, ladies, with the fierce queen who everybody loves to hate and hates to love, Donald Trump. I have to give credit to Sharon Needles, who I saw do this look in a show of hers, and I thought it was absolutely fucking brilliant, and I wanted to try it out for myself and do a tutorial. So if you want to see how to look this beautiful, keep on watching. To start off, I'm gluing down the brows so we can draw on higher, thinner drag brows later on. And while waiting for that to dry, I am putting in grey eye contacts. I'm not exactly sure what colour Donald Trump's eyes really are since he seems to be squinting sensually in every picture I see, so I kind of went for a sexy, smoky grey. Now for my base, I like to use the Krylon TV paint stick to conceal the brow cover, and I'm also putting that all over my face, at least in the center. And then for Mr. Trump's iconic Hot Cheetos look, I tried mixing orange cream color with my foundation, but that just made me look like I was the red guy from Inside Out. So I resolved to putting on my regular skin tone foundation over top, and I just made myself orange later on using powders. So set the face so that it stays on all night, and then I'm creating my brow highlight using Ben Nye's Clon White mixed with some flesh color. I liked for the brows to start down where my real brows start, but then angle upwards a bit higher than my real arch so it's more of a dramatic angle. Next, I'm taking more Clown White on a synthetic brush and I'm whitening my under eyes and also on my eyelids in Donald's iconic raccoon eye fashion and blending it out. Don't take it all the way down to your nose like in a triangle shape, instead you want to do it in kind of a perverted oval shape. Okay, and finally, set that with a light powder. Not light as in like sheer, but like light as in light, like white, so that it stays very bright and fair. Now we're doing eyeshadow. Start off using a light brown and a large brush and blend this into the eye socket so we get a sheer wash of definition there. And then you're gonna move up to a more medium brown and finally a black so that it gets darker little by little blending along the way so there's still a soft fade. I've left the inner lid blank because I'll be applying glitter there, because what is a drag queen without glitter? Next, using more black eyeshadow, add darkness to the outer corner where the glitter stops so that we can um, sort of hide and conceal any harsh lines there might be, as well as add more definition. Whenever you add light to the inner corner of the lid and darkness on the outer part of the lid, it gives the appearance of pulling the eyes up and outwards, just like you got a facelift. Next, you're going to apply some winged eyeliner. I am using the NYX Matte Black Liquid Liner. And then using white cream paint, I'm applying white to my lower waterline. And this makes it look like the eyes are kind of larger because it makes it look like the whites of the eyes are extended, but only if you outline it with more darkness underneath it. As you can see, I attempted to extend the white even far past my eyeliner, but later on I realized it was not looking so hot, so I wiped off the end of that and just concealed it and connected it with my upper eyeliner. I've applied mascara and lashes, and now we are moving back to the face. Using some white eyeshadow, I'm reinforcing the white that's beneath my eyes so it's brighter and lighter, and then I'm taking a matte bronzer to reinforce the contours on my cheekbones. To give me that classic problematic spray tan look, I'm using an orange blush all over my face except for the eyes. And then to tone it down just a little bit, I'm mixing in with some powder that's actually my skin tone. But then again, this is a Halloween costume, so it's supposed to be over the top and satirical, so don't be afraid of using a lot of that orange. Next, I am creating the eyebrows, and I'm using a dark brown eyeshadow on an angled brush, and I'm just tracing along that highlight that we made earlier, keeping the brows on the thinner side so they're more sleek and sexy. And finally, on the lips, I'm overlining them using a brown lipstick, similar to how I did in my botched plastic surgery makeup tutorial. And then on the insides, I'm using a white cream to create a more full 3D effect. And to blend these two together so it's not so chola looking, use a nude or a pink gloss. This is the NYX Intense Butter Gloss in Tre Lache. I didn't have a short blonde wig for this, so I ended up using a long one. It's actually like 28 inches. And then I just pulled it into a ponytail. But then again, if you want to serve that full lace front blown out Beyonce fantasy, then girl, let that hair down. God, this just looks like a scary mashup between Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton, and a gangrel girl. All the perfect elements of a Halloween costume. Let me know what you think of this look down below, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye!